Uh, okay, so we've been talking some about self-mediation, and then we talked a little about a mediation uh, between for disputes. And now, so today, let's talk about a little bit about computer-mediated uh, uh, communication. And so, as an example, I want to try and reach a friend of mine. I'm in the United States, you're in Kenya, and I'm going to try to reach a friend of mine using Google in London and uh, a, a free charge, a free call. And so, I'm getting started. He knows I'm going to try to call. He knows from last week. His name is uh, Rohan Lopez. And uh, he's a performer, and so you guys will get a chance to listen, hopefully, if he's there. Because it's 9 in the morning, 9.19 here, and so it's 3.19 in the afternoon uh, where Rohan is. So let's try. So I'm going to, if you see, I'm on my phone, and I'm going into my Google, and I, 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 I've tried to get all of you to get a Google, a Gmail address. And if you get that Gmail address, all of this, if you have the right phone, is available to you also. So I'm going into my Facebook first, which is a fake Facebook Messenger. And I know you can't see that icon. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Let's try. Oh. Messenger. Messenger right there. Okay. And so I'm clicking on Rohan's page. And his phone is not, he's not online. So I can't make the call. As you know, we tried before uh, to uh, make contact all over the Google phone in London and what's important for you to get here is that communication is often very hard and often takes uh, more than one attempt or several attempts that's either in, in any kind of communication sometimes you have to keep trying and so we're attempting a transatlantic call so it's another day and we're trying again. Okay, here we go. So what's going on is that when I went to try and call him because that icon right there, the phone icon is not lit up. So I can't make the call because I would normally hit that button. Sorry, can't make a call. This person is available right now, but he says he's ready. So I'm trying to coordinate. He's there, I'm here, but that icon doesn't give us the availability that we need. Okay, we're here at in set four at Studio Central, and this is our po podcast room. Um, but we're here for the third attempt to uh, communicate with our friend in the United Kingdom. Communication is like this, even personal, interpersonal communication. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because often you have to make several attempts to, to have successful communication. It's just messy like that. Well, uh, in those attempts, attitude is everything. And you can imagine why it, it, you could just get become frustrated and stop or your frustration will color the way that you communicate when you finally uh, make a, a good connection. So uh, let's try. Let's try it again. This is our third day trying to communicate with Rohan in the United Kingdom. And so, uh, you know, I've already, I pulled up his message and I, I'll go back. 
I was going to say I showed you this yesterday, but I'll do it again. We start with the messenger icon on my phone. That's what I'm doing. That messenger icon is part of Google. If you have a Gmail account and you have a Facebook account, those two things are tied to one another. So then I um, click on Rohan and so I'm there's icons at the top. One looks like a telephone and the other one looks like a um, a camera. So I'm going to press the camera. And so it's, it's calling him. And you can see at the top, it's at the, in the little right hand corner, is my picture. And his picture will show up in, in there if he answers. We're calling Rohan. He's in... London. Hello. Hello, Rohan. I don't have video. I don't have video. I have you audio, but I don't have video. You don't have video. Do you Do you see me? I can see you. I can see you. Oh, I see you. I see you. And look, I got you on camera, so that my audience in Kenya can see Rohan, the man. In the UK. <laughs> and so you got you got company in there where you are, right? Uh, I've got a house full of kids here. <laughs> you you got a house full of kids? Well, that's awesome. So did you explain to them that you're talking to the United States, who's talking to Kenya, and it's just going to be an awesome thing that we're participating in, right? Greetings, America. Greetings, Kenya. Okay, okay. From the UK. Okay. From England. <laughs> hey, I heard by the grapevine that you just got back from Australia. Can you talk a little bit about your trip? Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, I, uh, I meant to go for a few months. Uh, but uh, I ended up staying well over a year. And, and I was seriously suggest to anybody, I was in Melbourne. I would suggest to anybody, give Australia a try because I, I could, even though it has its problems, it has the same problems as the um, uh, as the states does with its um, indigenous population. Okay. They, they call them quarries over there. Right. But I, I, I the, the people over there are, are straightforward, open, generous. <laughs> I had a really good time. I came back with a few talks, you know. Okay, okay. Well, tell me about your trip when you got back. You know, when I came back from Kenya, it was really hard. I had no money. I had nothing. How did how did you how did your trip back from the UK? How did you how did it happen? How did it go? Well, let me tell you. This this is this fine looking gentleman here. This is Jerome. Hey, Jerome. He's one of the kids. Hello, yeah. He's one of the kids I've needed today. Hey, Jerome. Yes. <laughs> hey, Jerome. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me. I'll be feeding him too. Okay, okay. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. You're, you're, you're going out to the United States and Kenya right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is James. James. Hey, James. Wow. Okay. Well, so. I've got to say, um, sometimes even in your dark moments, you know, there's... If, 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 if you know deep down, even when you think you're alone, I, I just want to say to everybody, even in your darkest moments when you think you're alone, you're never alone. Never, ever alone. And and, and, and even though, yes, I'm a sinner and, you know, I, I, I drink and, you know, I, I smoke and I do all the things I'm not supposed to, um, my, my, my faith is quite deep. And I've got to tell you, sometimes when you least expect it, you, you've got a friend. Okay. Eh? Well, hey, that's an awesome testimony. Well, Rohan, I'm going to let you go now. I sure appreciate everything you've done for me. And then, like I told you, I'll start bugging you about our television station. 
next, okay? My friend Rohan who lives in the UK and um, in the spirit of collaboration remember now I'm trying to start a worldwide television station and so I didn't come across judgmental Rohan is a performer he's a street performer and so I'm just kind of just getting started trying to figure out how to cross-culturally communicate with Rohan so We'll just see how God blesses it. And if it doesn't work, if let's say that I, we, I try and strike a deal with a, a, with a London correspondent and, and it doesn't work out with Rohan, and still, there's no love lost. God is still on his throne and everything is right with the world. Um, better love next time. So I, have, I, I haven't burned that bridge. As a matter of fact, I've known Rohan since probably 2001. And um, we've never collaborated together, but there's been attempts. But nevertheless, God is still good. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.